Well, we start with more atrocities from the extremist group that calls itself Islamic State. The group has beheaded an Iraqi police officer and two soldiers, according to pictures posted online. The gruesome images were released a matter of hours after IS murdered its second Japanese hostage, Kenji Goto. A Jordanian pilot is still thought to be held by Islamic State. Jim Young Gil starts us off. In one photo, a blindfolded man, presumed to be a police lieutenant colonel, kneels in the street as a masked militant beheads his victim with a machete. Another photo shows an overweight masked militant struggling to behead a man identified as a captured Iraqi soldier. A second soldier was beheaded at the same location. If the photos are authentic, the killings would come just a day after the extremist group beheaded Japanese journalist Kenji Koto. A Jordanian pilot also being held by IS is facing the same gruesome fate as Mr. Koto. The pilot's father has appealed to the extremist group to spare his son's life. We appeal to Islamic State in Iraq and Syria and ask them in the name of God and his prophet, peace be upon him, and with the nationality of religion, the blood, to secure the life of our son, the pilot, Muat al and be gracious to release him. The pilot was captured after his jet crashed in northeastern Syria in December during a bombing mission against IS. Islamic State has called for the release of Iraqi woman Sajida Rishawi, a would-be suicide bomber, in exchange for the pilot's life. She has been on death row in Jordan for her role in terrorist attacks on three hotels that killed nearly 60 people back in 2005. The UN Security Council on Sunday condemned Islamic State's execution of Japanese freelance reporter Kenji Koto. Council members stressed that Koto's execution has once again demonstrated the brutal tactics of IS militants and said those responsible for his murder will be held accountable. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.